Spinnaker is a self-hosted platform for implementing continuous delivery best practices in your organization. Armory provides additional enterprise-grade features in the form of plugins that can enhance your experience. Today, we're going to sample how the Pylons Code plugin works and taking a look on how it can help your team strive. But first, let me tell you a story, a story about the company. At first, life is simple at the company, a small team with a big dream. They develop their application and create the pipeline to suit their needs and follow the good CD practices. But they start to grow. They grow really big. So they start getting a special DevOps team, which helps every team adhere to the best CD practices. A change management team that wants to make sure that every change to production is well audited and tested. And also maybe a security team, besides other stakeholders that each have their own reason to want to make sure that every pipeline in the company is running at its best. But as more and more teams have, making this change on an organizational level becomes really complicated because when you have thousands of teams, sending an email to them to update a specific stage just won't cut it. So that's when PyLenses Code comes in. PyLenses Code is a software engineering practice that involves defining and managing the entire workflow of a software delivery pipeline in a version control and executable form. It treats its configuration and orchestration as code, leveraging concepts and techniques from software development to optimize the build, test, and deployment process. This approach enables consistent, repeatable, and scalable pipeline management, facilitating collaboration among team members and promoting the principles of DevOps. So now, Let's see how they work in Spinnaker, shall we? In our Spinnaker instance, we just have a couple of applications. And we're going to be working with our testing repository at first, which is our main template repo for Pylenses code. Now, looking at the template file that we will be using, we can see that this pipeline definition looks exactly almost as what we will see if in Spinnaker we edited a pipeline and edit as JSON. We just have a couple of metadata, additional metadata like application name and this global keyword, which is used to declare global variables that we can use as one of the features of Pylenses code, which is variable substitution, which as you can see, I'm using here just to stay consistent and not have the app name be different in any of the stages. This stage just has a wait stage, a deploy manifest stage, and a manual judgment stage. So the way Pipeline Code works is that I'm going to be committing this pipeline definition file to my repository, and I'm going to push it. So when I push it and it gets to GitHub, it's going to trigger a webhook that is already configured. And that webhook alert is going to be catched by Spinnaker, which will parse the file and then proceed to create whatever pipelines or applications I have defined. As you can see, we have the pack demo application, which is the app name that I'm defining here. And it has the pipeline configured with the stages that I, that I set up with this wait stage, deploy stage, and manual judgment stage. As you can see, it was really simple. But we can take it a step further because one of the benefits of doing pipelines as code is that we can start sharing across our organization, across our teams. And one method of doing it is by making models out of our stages. For example, this wait stage, we can replace it with a module that we have here that it basically contains the, the same data but with variables just so that we can reuse it and we can add it like this and this will be equivalent as just having the first stage with the reference id one which is practically the same but now we're beginning to make it more clean we have been working with the testing repo but this is our main template repo now let's say we have a new team that wants to include his that wants to create its pipeline so we're going to go and we're going to add a pipeline definition file which is called the dingy file just as before and 
Even if this is a different repo, since the testing repo is the one that we have configured as our main template repo, we can still call its modules. So I'm going to call the wait stage module, deploy stage module. And also Pipelines code has this functionality where you can define a local model, which is a model specific for your app repository. So let's say manual judgment stage is really specific to my awesome application. So I don't want it to be mixed up or risk that another team uses it and, and cause errors across the organization. So we can use it as a local model, which will be the same. So when we add or dingy file, since my this project repo is also configured with the webhook, when it catches that the dingy file has been added, Spinnaker is also going to catch the the application, parse the file, and create it. So now I have the my awesome app, I have the pipeline. And as you can see, I use modules for the main repo, which are the wait model the deploy manifest model and they are stages now on my pipeline and the specific model to this repo was also part so this allows you to to start modularizing having all the, your necessary stages all your necessary pipeline definitions even and have a consistency across your company